Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Nev's Garage. If this is your first time joining us here, thank you. But you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and also toggle on the little bell. That way you'll be notified when our next video drops. Let's not get ahead of ourselves though. Still got to get through this episode. Today we're going to be looking at power steering lines on this MY99 WRX. Now, they have a habit of leaking, funnily enough, on the low pressure return hose. All right, so we're gonna check it out, come up with a way of fixing it. Let's get into it. All right, so let's have a look at uh, the problem. You can see it down in there. Here's the power steering hoses. All right, the bottom one is the low pressure, the top one is the high pressure. And you can see all the wetness down the bottom there. You can also see a hose clamp I put around the crimp fitting to temporarily tighten it up once. Okay, worked for a little while. Anyway, so I think what we're going to need to do, because to get the set of hoses out, you really have to raise the engine. I really don't want to do that just to fix this hose. So I'm going to try and do it in there. I think first we better pull the air box out so we can sort of get to it. All right, so you can see it down in there now. Here's the hose we want to try and fix. See how moist it is down there. All right, so first of all, we're going to have to clean all that gunk off it. Now the best way to do that and not get it everywhere we don't want is a bit of good old aluminum foil, okay? Because this is obviously waterproof and it's shapeable. So we're gonna drape this over the cross member, over that axle down there, and then give it a wash down with degreaser. All right, so she's all sort of covered up with foil now. I'm gonna give it a real good shot with some degreaser. All right, cool. Just gonna let that soak for a while. All right, so she's been soaking for about 10 minutes now. Now I'm going to give it a rinse with some water. I'm going to try and get that heat shield sleeve off too. Right, that's got it out. I'm going to let that just dry off a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the swage off. So I'm going to cut two slices up the side, cut around to the base, peel this off, and then it should be able to remove the hose. That's the plan anyway, so we'll see how we go. I'm going to use this little cutoff wheel that I've got on my rotary tool. Let's give it a jam. I'm going to try and get the hose out of the fitting now. So I'm just going to cut what I can see there. I think I'll just get this hose out of the way. I think I'll just chop it. suck some of the fluid out of here with this syringe so that I can block it 
with an old earplug because I do not want swarf going down in there. Got to remember to take that out later though. Okay, now I'm going to cut the rest of this hose away. Alright, so uh, you can see the spigot in there now. Just got to clean it up enough to clear it up. So I can put the hose on. So I think I've got enough off it now that I can spin this swage around to get it to a, bring the other part around to the front now to cut it off. Alright, so now I can cut a bit more off that now from the front. There it is. Okay, so there it is. Got the hose and the swage off. Now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more. Just going to pop an 11mm socket down here to protect it. And I'm just going to cut those sharp edges off that base. There we go. That looks pretty tidy. Alright, so I think we better clean all that up now. Okay, so I think I'm going to take the rest of the hose off the car now to do it because it'll be a lot easier and I can do that now that it's cut. Now that's going to be really easy to do this one, it's aluminium and I've got it off, so I'm just going to hit that with the angle grinder. Alright, there it is. So I cut around the edge of the flange, and then I cut in at spirals so that we should be able to just peel it away now. Let's give it a go. can pull off. Bingo. Not bad, eh? Cute. Cool. Right, so now we can set up to put the new hose on. Here's the new hose, Goss Power Steering Return Hose, she's 10mm ID, got some nice new wrap around tan clamps as well. Alright, so let's get this ready. Now what I'm going to do is put a bead of ultra grey around this flange here, so that it's got a nice seal at the end of the hose. Clamps ready. Slip a couple of clamps up there and now push our hose on. All 
slide down against that flange like that. I'm going to put one clamp there. And I'm going to put one clamp there. Want the excess juice off. All right, so that's that end done. Now I guess we need a rough length of the hose. So we have that plus about two inches there. So let's say that much. Have it extra long. Let's cut it here. That'll be plenty. All right, let's get it ready to slam in. Now I'm going to undo the high pressure line off the pump let it drain down my foil river. Uh, you'll see why shortly. Now it's time to put a new hose in. So I'm just going to try for length first. There we go, just going to cut that much off the end of it. All right, so now we need to prep the barb down here. Put some ultra grey on the flange. And then down she goes. Yeah, cool. Alright, now we put our clamps on. All right, cool. So it's in there and it's clamped up. And it looks excellent. Now there's one more thing we need to do. I put some conduit down over there for a bit of protection. Cool. Looks pretty good. But wait, there's more. Now we're going to put a bit of heat protection sleeve down it as well. Like that, that's cool. And just dry the excess out of here. Because we're going to give the high pressure hose the same treatment. Cool. So both the sleeves are on now. I'm trying to put the high pressure feed back into the pump. I just painted a bit of aviation sealant on the washer. You could fit new copper washers there if you had them available to you. So on she goes. Bolt goes through and into the pump. Okay, that's that. Now we've got a couple of nice new hoses for the top here, this one and this one. I'm gonna replace them with genuine hoses. So let's get the old ones off. 
They're actually breaking while I'm pulling them off. Okay, so now the hose bridges can go on. All right, folks, well, that's it. It's all in there. I guess we put the airbox back in now. You want to have a look at it though before we do? There it is. Looks pretty good, eh? Looks better than the original pipes. Cool. Alright, let's shove this airbox back in. Alright guys, well, got the hoses all fitted now. Just finished bleeding the power steering. And she's good to go. Pretty much better than new, because they're both heat shield sleeve now. So, how's that? Another win. So that's about it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Please keep liking and sharing. And also, make sure you subscribe to us here on our channel. And head on over to our socials, at Gossam Media. Make sure you like and follow us there. But, that's it from me. See you next time on Ned's Garage.